Hang on, let me get some water. So it's rolled out of bed. We got water. We got bananas. We got. This is the best shit ever, man. I did a 220k ride yesterday on this stuff. Crap. This is rock sugar. It is like Breaking Bad. <laughs> if, if Breaking Bad could carve the fuck up, that's what it would look like. Drop it on the floor. This is this is the shit, man. This is crystal fucking sugar. Thailand. This stuff is something about the sugar, man. Seriously. I was flogging it up the mountain yesterday. The hardest 200k ride I've ever done. Not in terms of total wattage, but in terms of terrain elevation. It was epic, man. Beautiful here. Go check out my Strava. How to deal with the online hate machine of social media. I had a, uh, went for a ride a couple of years ago, last year, whenever it was, with a, a CEO of a company. And he's like, mate, you know, a big company, and he's cycling based. And he's like, I don't know how you deal with the, the online hate machine, the hate machine of social media. And I was just like, well, that's a good term. But it's like, the reason why I can deal with it so well is passion, cause, life purpose. You know, I'm not I'm here to make lots of money or be Mr. Popular or everyone loves me, you know, so I can't really, you know, there's so many people online that they can't really share their true opinion on a video. They might like, you know, gang bang out of video uh, comments. They might like, oh yeah, someone's against you. Let me, let me, let me, let me, you know. Let, let me get on there as well. Like, let, let me get in that gang mentality. Oh, everyone's picking on Duran. Let me pick on them as well. Like, I mean, I've got Asperger's. <clears throat> Look up what Asperger's is. I've been bullied since I was like, you know, year three onwards because I'm a trusting, generous individual, always has been. I remember giving my uh, school money to people for lunch and they're like, I'll pay you back, you know, at lunchtime. And I give them the money at recess and lunchtime come in and they're like, oh, no, nah, I haven't got it yet. And they never, never, never gave back to me. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, I've had this from the schoolyard. Onwards to today, today in 2017. So I'm used to. It. I don't like it. You know, sometimes it's hurtful. What happens? But you know, I do have pretty thick skin, and I can get on with it and get over it pretty quickly. But you know, because I've had Asperger's for so long, you know, you learn to deal with it. You build a lot of emotional muscle. So that's why I still turn up every single day on social media. And I've been on here since 2003, banging out on forums, answering questions. I love it. You know, I've never disappeared from social media. I mean, I've. I've had my channel shut down, I've had Facebook accounts deleted, I've been blocked off here, there, wherever, forums, and just go somewhere else. You know, I have to contribute, that's my driving force every single day. So, to answer your question, how to deal with the online hate machine, people's faces, like, ah, you know, you want to turn it upside, upside down like a banana smile. You want to, you definitely want to carve the fuck up. Fruit, sugar, water. Starches, rice, potatoes, stuff. But you want to have all three every day. These are the three most important food groups. Sugar, fruit, starches. If you have less of one of those per day, you ain't going to be on, on top of your game, really. You're not. So I'd recommend your sugar and the fruits during the day and then have your starch at dinner. But make sure you always have enough sweet food every single day that you finish your starch meal at night time. You don't want any more sweet. If you want more sweet after dinner, you didn't have enough sweet during the day. That simple sugar is for the brain. And that really helps you overcome any depressive thoughts or negativity that just keeps bombarding you away. And I mean, let's, let's be real. You know, I have the most loyal, dedicated bunch of haters on the internet. I don't know anybody, even Justin Bieber, you know, Mariah Carey, <laughs> Ariana Grande, I don't know anybody out there who has a more loyal group of hate haters. I don't know, it, I am like the Guinness Book of Record of the most, the person with the most dedicated hater group. You know, they, they'll make like, you know, hour 15 videos about me again and again and again. Like, it takes like months to produce just because I hooked up with his girlfriend and now he's just jealous of it. And he brings, they bring a dead person, someone who died, you know, disrespect for the family, but they bring someone who's died into their video to push their grudge against Duran Rider just because he hooked up with, with their girlfriend who was like a groupie, you know, and she was, anyway, that was, she was with other guys as well, but that's another story. But I mean, it's, and there's nothing wrong with that. If girls want to, you know, have a bit of fun with multiple guys or a few guys at once or whatever, that's there's nothing wrong with that. That's definitely, uh, you know, adults adults do what adults do as long as it's consensual. Keep it safe, keep it good. Um, but this is so how to deal with it is, you know, is just be transparent and be public. And I'm a very very public person, very public person, and that gets me in a lot of trouble. Gets me a lot of uh, hate. Gets me a lot of love. I'm just being who I am. You know, I love to be public. Love to be transparent. Because I feel that's the best way to really, really help people. If you're really showing your true, authentic example, I swear on my videos, I, 
cast or a you know show my good times, my low times, whatever. You know, talk about Asperger's a bit. If you someone watched some of my videos from a few years ago, you will see me mention it. Talk about my de dealing with the Crohn's disease, whatever. Most of my videos are of more of a positive light, where people come to me for weight loss information because I do have the best weight loss fitness information to anyone. You give me any person on the planet, I'll get them in the best condition they've ever ever had, drug free, one hundred percent. Because I know how to do that. Most people don't. They just like a drug regime. And that's just like not going to be sustainable. Or they have eating disorders. I mean, the amount of eating disorders we see in the vegan scene, even even the vegan cycling scene, you know, attracts a lot of people with eating disorders. And they're like, and that's you know, people should be coming over here to heal themselves, to nourish themselves, not to starve themselves and overtrain. And you know, oh my god, it's raining outside. I can't ride today. I'm going to jump on the trainer and just bust out some intervals. It's like, what? Like, have have, have some chill time, man. Have some rest and recovery. Nourish the soul. Don't starve yourself. <laughs> God. And don't run on stimulants, man. That, I mean, the worst thing people can do is, if you are getting attacked by people online, is, is get, go hop on the stimulants, the caffeine or the you know, prescription stimulants or the recreational stimulants. That's the worst thing because you're not going to eat enough, you're not going to drink enough, and you're going to start flipping out at people. And you're going to you know, get up, end up in like getting sued or, or whatever. You know, a lot of things can happen. So I would recommend that People have a goal. If you're getting bullies or haters, then like ask yourself why you're on social media. You know, if you want, if your goal is to be popular, then you know you're gonna have a lot of uh, pain in your life because not everyone's gonna love you, man. <laughs> That's the reality. Most people you share, you open your heart, you share it. People are just gonna see an open heart and just gonna like stab it. They're gonna get like a <clears throat> fruit knife and start being bang, bang, bang. You know, um, like what's that movie? They uh. Where the fucking, uh, what's that, American, uh, what's it called? American Psycho. You know, you're going to have those sort of images going on if you really are honest with people. Or if you're really fake with people and you have that popularity, but you can't really show your bitchy side, your aggressive side, then that will start to eat you up inside. So I recommend if your goal is to get on social media and share your truth, then embrace all, all personalities, embrace all emotions. And that's just life. And that is the hate machine of social media. It's the hate machine, it's the love machine, it's the yin yang. Don't get on it unless you're prepared to deal with it, and uh, that's the best thing. But again, carbs, carb the fuck up, always.